now for a second year attempts to persuade the UK's only pair of giant pandas to mate naturally have failed. But Edinburgh Zoo says it's now tried a plan B. Our Scotland correspondent James Cook explains. Before he can mate, a male panda must prove his prowess. He does it by acrobatic scent marking and by bulking up for the big event. Yang Guang certainly made an effort, but in the end he was rebuffed. Last year he had at least met Tian Tian. They wrestled playfully, but nothing more. This time it seems she was even less interested. Instead, the zoo attempted artificial insemination, which apparently went well. Getting to this stage has been a big operation. There you go. Yeah. Bye. Bye. This scientist has been living in the zoo, every day taking Chan Chan's sample to the lab for tests. We measure the hormone levels in the urine samples and that basic goal is just to be able to know when the ovulation is going to happen and so we can time the artificial insemination or natural mating. So you're carrying panda urine across Edinburgh yes. on a bus every day? Yes, yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody, nobody says anything because nobody knows. No. But we'll have to wait and see whether all this effort has paid off. The zoo will have to carry out an ultrasound scan on the female panda and that won't happen until the summer. James Cook, BBC News at Edinburgh Zoo.